there, film bugs. Today I'm reviewing WW84, the sequel to the 2017 film Wonder Woman. WW84 was released in 2020, Christmas Day. The film was directed by Patty Jenkins and stars Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman, Chris Pine as Steve Trevor, Pedro Pascal as Maxwell Lord, and Kristen Wiig as Barbara Minerva, aka Cheetah. I was excited to see this because I really like the 2017 film, and of course female superheroes are always fun to watch. But I have to say, WW84 was a really big disappointment. It was hands down a mess. The film begins with the scene of young Diana, or Wonder Woman, from her homeland Themyscira in a competition. And then suddenly we're jumped to 1984 and an adult Diana. There's really no connection with the opening scene, to the setting of the rest of the film in 1984. So in 1984, we see Diana working at the Smithsonian as a curator of ancient artifacts, and where she befriends a nerdy geologist co-worker, Barbara Minerva, played by Kristen Wiig. The museum houses an ancient stone later identified as a dream stone, which obtains a Latin inscription claiming to grant the holder of the stone one wish. So while Diana and Barbara are working around the stone, their secret wishes become reality. Barbara wishes to be more like Diana, and Diana wishes for Steve, her love from this 2017 film, to be back with her. Barbara begins to transform from a shy, nerdy geologist into a strong, beautiful superhero, <laughs> and Steve is brought back into Diana's life, but through someone else's body, which makes really no sense, and it's actually super weird. Then we meet Maxwell Lord, played by Pedro Pascal. Somehow Max knows the power of the Dreamstone. Though we're not really told how, and he befriends Barbara to get close to the stone and ultimately steal it. He steals the stone in hopes of saving his failing business, but ultimately wishes to become the stone itself, gaining its wish-granting powers. We learn that the stone was created by the god of lies and mischief, so ultimately all of Max's wishes he's granting upon others go haywire and are false or double-sided. His power of granting wishes to everyone ultimately leads to worldwide chaos and instability. Though Diana has Steve by her side, she loses her superhero strength. Barbara turns into a villain or cheetah-like or cheetah-like creature, aiding Max in his mission. In order for the whole world to return to normal, everyone has to renounce their wish. Diana confronts Cheetah and Max to put an end to the wishes and is victorious in getting others to renounce their wishes. It's really all super strange and a disconnected mess. The narrative of this film makes no sense. Nothing is followed in a logical storyline. The film tried to be this over-the-top epic superhero story, but it was just an over-the-top mess. I liked Gal Gadot as Diana and Chris Pine as Steve Trevor, but the villains Maxwell Lord and Cheetah just didn't really work. I can't really think of anything redeeming here besides the two characters. Watchability factor is low. I definitely wouldn't watch it again, and I had a hard time struggling through it the first time. I'm sad to say that and was really surprised because the film from 2017 was really good and fun to watch. Overall, I rate this film a 4. After about an hour, I was hoping it would end. Well, film bugs, until next time, flicker on. Take 2. Hey there, film bugs. Today I'm reviewing the WW84. Fuck. Take three. Hey there, film bugs. Today I'm reviewing WW84, the sequel to the 2017 one film. Take four. Hey there, film bugs. Today I'm reviewing WW84, the sequel to the 2017 film Wonder Woman. <laughs> WW84 was released. Take two. WW84 was released in 2020, Christmas Day. The film is directed by Patty Jenkins and stars Gal Gadot. <laughs>